Tours often involve steps, lots of steps. Statue of Liberty, Sacre Coeur, Batu Caves. Now that we've seen the terminology and basic process, let's take our first steps with GitHub. Before we can use GitHub, we need a GitHub account. So that's our first step. If you already have a GitHub account, that's great. Feel free to skip to the next clip. If not, let's create one. Bring up the browser and type www.github.com in the address bar. That takes us to GitHub. Scrolling down, notice the very large number of developers using GitHub and the even larger number of GitHub repositories. Let's add ourselves to those numbers. Scrolling back up, click the Sign Up button here. Since I already have a GitHub account, I'll talk you through the remaining steps to begin your adventure with GitHub using slides. Note that GitHub often changes the layout of their account creation pages, so your experience may look different, but the basic data entry will be the same. The first thing it wants is an email address. Type in the email address you want to use with GitHub. I blurred out the email address I entered. Be sure to enter a valid email address, as it will confirm this email later in the process. If you already have a GitHub account with that email, it will tell you the email is invalid or already taken. When all is well, it allows you to continue. Next, it wants a password, and it will be picky about what it allows. You'll see messages providing information on the password requirements and your entered password strength. Be sure to keep your password secure. But most importantly, it wants a username. Be thoughtful about what you select for the username because it will be your GitHub identity. If you are looking to become a developer or web designer, many employers will want to see examples of your work by looking at the projects you've posted on GitHub. So be sure you put your best foot forward when creating your GitHub persona. GitHub immediately checks the entered username to ensure it is unique throughout all of GitHub. It may take a few tries to come up with something unique and meaningful for you. Then the obligatory, would you like to receive product updates and announcements? Answer as you wish. To ensure you are a person, it then wants you to complete a puzzle. Click Start Puzzle. For me, it displayed images and asked me to select one based on a provided description. When you've successfully completed the puzzle, it rewards you by displaying a Create Account button to create your account. Click the button, and it verifies your email address by sending you a code. Check your email and enter the provided code. Then it walks you through some questions to personalize GitHub that I've not shown here. Feel free to scroll to the bottom and select Skip Personalization. You can always update your personal information later. You are now the proud owner of a GitHub account. Now that you have an account, every time you go to www.github.com, you'll be directed to your personal dashboard. Use the options here to update your profile and access your settings. As you work with GitHub, your personal dashboard will provide more information on your repositories and projects. For now, it provides options to help you get started, such as a button to create a new GitHub repository. We'll do that in a moment. So, the first step to working with GitHub is to create a GitHub account. Enter a valid email address because it will be validated. Be thoughtful about your username as it represents your GitHub identity. Now that we have an account, let's use GitHub to create a remote repository.